need to let somebody shoot us here so we can prove that. Oh, there we go. G, bring you coffee and cross out, and yes, you're thinking, wow, Mr. G, you sound terrible. Well, I am super sick right now, yet the show must go on. Um, what are we doing today? We are talking about how to armor the Reaper autocannon, uh, the Reaper minigun. Uh, I try not to do guide videos unless I feel like I actually know what I'm talking about. Please ignore uh, some of my older ones when I didn't know what I was talking about. As you guys that have been on the channel know, I have uh, been playing Reapers for a long, long time. Uh, they're one of my favorite uh, favorite guns. We're going to look at two different configurations, and we're going to talk about the pros and cons of both. So we're going to go back to the one I've been running the most. You guys have seen around the channel for a while, and you're going to go, okay. Why did we switch? Well, this is the classic. Um, used to be that these guns were right next to each other. Uh, why are they moved a little bit further apart? Well, if you get hit with a tsunami or a mammoth or any sort of weapon that does explosion damage and that damage comes out in a sphere both guns are going to take damage from a single shot uh, when they're spread apart it's a lot harder for both of them to get taken out with like a scorpion strike or a tsunami strike or a mammoth strike okay another thing you need to remember to do is this guy's your friend right here gun mount you want this gun mount so that at least it has one weld point uh, touching your cab if you can't get your gun directly on your cab you need it on something that's not going to get blown off right away. And these things um, allow bullets and things to pass through. Uh, and they tend to survive pretty well. And then you can see I love using the large fender in the rear behind the Tsunami. And you have to use a Torino bumper. A regular bumper doesn't work. Not sure why, but it doesn't. And then if you want to put another layer of armor in front, uh, that's not a bad move either. But it was still the weakest part of my build. Uh, because we were losing them all the time. So let's take a peek. At, I know, right? Look at the name. Armored Reapers. I put a lot of thought into the name. Well, we dropped these down. I had them up a little bit higher, and we had these armor pods, as you can see, built over them. Uh, the center of mass was way too high. The thing turned like a beast. So we moved these down. We've got armor on the side. We've armored them all the way across the top and all the way across the rear. You know, many times you take hurricane shots or explosive shots in the rear. I know, don't take that out of context. These things have just armor for ages uh, going up in the rear. And then for the front, just so we can get more angle, instead of using a fender, we've gone with two truck slopes. And you can see we still have the gun mount under there as well. And some strut pieces. But that's pretty much it. Now let me show you how this one compares to the other one. Uh, one of the problems with Big Sister, the build I just showed you, was I couldn't shoot directly in front of the cab. At least not for like 50 meters out. This one, we can shoot targets uh, immediately in front of the cab, just with the way the turrets are set up. They don't have to shoot uh, over the cab, they shoot from the side. Um, you can see this is a variation of my other build as well, um, that had the tracks that don't touch the ground, so that it doesn't hinder our turning. We needed the tonnage. Uh, but we didn't want it to slow us down. So we've got large wheels propping those tracks up so they don't actually slow us down. If we lose the large wheels, the tracks certainly come in handy. And this build is slightly faster um, because we have less you know, tracks and wheels slowing down our, our acceleration and our cabin speed. But uh, yeah, the Reaper, the Reaper takes a beating. Obviously you can still strip them off with sustained fire, but more importantly it looks cool. I, I can see this working for other builds, this chassis uh, being handy for other builds as well. Let's test this thing out in battle and see how she does. All right, here we go, folks. Here we go. Oh, we got one hover down here. And we need to let somebody shoot us here so we can prove that. Oh, there we go. Still have two Reapers. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, we need someone to shoot us. Thank you for obliging, friend. Take some more shots here with our guns. Oh my! Thanks for thanks for driving right in behind me. Yeah, of course, I do that all the time to other people, so I can't judge. Wow, we, we should maybe back it up a little bit. Let's use our super reaper reverse here. Fun fact: reapers will help you go faster in reverse. They will indeed. We uh, lost our cloak, which is the bad thing about this build. Is the whole front end. 
gets blown off in a hurry sometimes, including your cloak. Can it drive without a front end? Sure. 2,400 points of structure, yeah. You can see it turns much less effectively without the wheels helping steer in the front. But, uh, you know, all our important bits are still behind the cab. Pro tip, put all your important bits behind the cab, not in front. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we can't turn. We need those wheels. We're a goofy little stubby bill. But, proof of concept, both guns still alive. Get this guy's spark here. Still have both guns. And we can hit targets directly in front of us, which is super important. Where is my team? In the cabin? Alright, let's get this done. Let's go help the team here. Let's take out Mr. Meat Grinder. Oh, sorry, friend. And there you have it. Our build got blown into Kingdom Come, yet our guns survive. I would guarantee if that was my other Reaper build, it would be at least down one Reaper. Possibly two. I've lost Reapers in battle so many times, I can't even describe to you how many times. Uh, yeah. You can see the front armor bits we had on them got blown off, but the, the gun mounts weathered the storm. They came out okay. I maybe need to relook at my frames on this build in the front, as we lost the whole front section quicker than I would have liked. But there you have it. Okay, so build recap time. Not only do we have a really a nice uh, way to armor Reapers, uh, we've come up with another chassis for brawler builds that can turn on a dime, uh, goes medium fast for something heavy, and uh, fits nearly 2,400 structure on a build. I like this one. We played this on the stream the other day. This is going to be my new grinder, my new classic Reaper build. We're going we're gonna to run with this one for a while. Let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments. Uh, let me know how you like to cram your Reapers on your builds. Join our Discord. Show us what you're building. Throw us a sub. Throw us a like. I'm making new stuff every day. I can't wait for the new faction to drop and make you guys some new toys. But I gotta go to work now. So that means Mr. G out. <laughs>